G'day and welcome back to our Nigerian aggression campaign in Modified Hearts of Iron 4. So the Axis of Evil is yeah, it's slowly growing. Stupid bloody Zambia joining NATO. That's what's going to end up screwing us, but that's fine. Dealing with the naval invasions as they keep attempting them. In the meantime, we need to go into Luanda. Hopefully we can get across this river and just go and destroy them. They still have a lot of strength. And organization, so I don't know why we're getting better at it. Alright, next up, more general breakthrough. Yes, please. That's exactly what we need down here. Alright, no more research. How are we looking? What other wars are there, actually? It's just our two wars Nigerian Sierra Leonean War, and Nigerian Zambian War. Seven, eight, nine, nine. Hey, we're across. Nice. Alright, these four are going to go around. Try and get into Luanda that way. Hopefully he's got no men there. Just need to hold them off long enough. Keep attacking there. Can't let his men get past to get up there. We need ours up and through. Alright, maintenance three. Let's grab maintenance four. Alright, we're up. That'll give us the extra flank that we need. Alright, that's going to take them. They'll capitulate. And we have started fabricating on, I think it was Malawi and Djibouti. Got the guys surrounding Djibouti ready to go. Was it Malawi? It was, yeah. So we need to create the front line and the order. And Angola's capitulated. Nice. So we're going to have tons of guys coming back. Now, Congo can be way too strong for us. We would need to take out actual Congo first, so we're next to Kinshasa. And Angola still have Kabinda. Can't do that until we do this though. So let's go ahead and justify. Conquering Sangha. His troops are out in Russia, Kazakhstan, and Belarus. So it'll take a long time to come back. Put the front line there. Tell them to just run to Brazzaville. Should be good enough. Let's grab half of these and put them straight onto that border. All right, so 39 there, 38 there and 19 there. Should be enough. All right, better APCs and light tanks. Gen 3 APC and cool, Gen 5 light tank. Once we get the Gen 5, we'll switch the actual uh, production over to it. Oh, we have massive shortages everywhere. Yeah, we're going to need to be at peace for a while. Unless South Africa and everyone are easy to beat, which they're not. Zambia is. Botswana definitely is. Zimbabwe. Maybe not Mozambique. So we'll do these three and probably take a bit of a break until we've got everything back. Although, Ivory Coast. Yeah, we'll want to head over there later as well. All right, we'll leave all the harder African countries like Egypt... DR Congo and South Africa for later. Mozambique was a maybe. Alright, Tunisia, Morocco, Libya, that's fine. Have to keep an eye on them every now and then in case they try somewhere else. As long as he sticks to these four invasion points, we'll be happy. And yeah, I mean, we don't have enough men to cover the entire coastline. Alright, how's China doing? Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Looks like they're slowly going to fall. Maybe not. China, though, should have decent production capacity. Soviets are pushing back. Actually, not Soviets anymore, are they? Russia is pushing back. They are pretty weak there, but it's mountainous. China's pushed out this way. Alright, Congo's joined the CSTO, which means we're not there ready. Alright, as soon as they come in, they get called into the war, like so. We'll just try and rush straight down the middle. They can head out a little bit. Take them too long to get up to Abuja. Yep, it's definitely going to get into Libreville. We're failing that. Hopefully, once the rest of the guys arrive in there. 
Yep, yep. There we go. Turn screen. All right, better main battle tanks. Go for Gen 4. Same thing. Gets Gen 5 and then we'll switch them up. And his armies, the further they move north, the quicker we can get down to Brazzaville. All right, get them out. And do we have anything else? Well, these guys need to auto-join. I don't think we've been doing any production because we're so short on equipment. We can pop them. It's the only one. And is there anyone else? No. All right, these guys need to join this and just hold them back a little. Just make sure they don't hit. Yeah, it's not 22, it's just the three. Um, make sure they don't get into Abuja before we can get to their capital. So take another two weeks. All right, well, Malawi. When do we get to declare war? Christmas Day and Djibouti might be a little sooner. Christmas Day. All right. Modification of government. We have very low taxes. The population is down a little. Early mobilization, we could go up a bit further. Export focus. Conscription is not a problem. So we're not touching that. Limited exports aren't even available because we're communist. Does that give us... Yeah, let's do closed economy. No. Need war economy or total mobilization. Well, we do want to keep moving up that way. So, partial gets us construction speed bonus and more of the good stuff. All right, let's head down there. And yes, this is looking a lot harder than it needs to be. Hopefully we have enough core territory that losing our capital won't matter. Hmm. So you know what these guys are going to do? They are actually going to just sit here behind the rivers. They will be fall back. Alright, protect it. You can do it. Go. Just because we weren't in there and ready to go. Pretty smart of them joining the CSTO. Russia's got actual land down here. That's going to be annoying. This doesn't have a port. Not that he would pull his troops out of the Chinese border though, really, would he? Alright, we've got this defense. As soon as we've won that, we can turn around on them. So we are still doing the push. Come on. Alright, they've got low organization. Get them. And otherwise, just hold them where they are. Alright, it's December. So we've got a while. Do a quick check. Tunisia is fine. Libya is fine. Algeria is fine. So that's all good. Seriously, if the uh, Europeans manage the landing, that's screwed. Alright, Gen 6. That's too far off. APCs, we can do. Alright, and the hair is huge. Gen 5 APCs and all that in 2030. 2025, that's only a year. Alright, let's go for that. And that'll be our light tanks sorted out for the rest of the game. Alright, Congo, you're about to lose your capital. There we go. And these guys need to push down to Kabinda. Alright, see. God damn it, the Russians have landed. Alright, that is gonna suck. Why are you... Oh, you are going to Brazzaville. Bloody Russians. With their huge tanks. Damn it. Alright, Congo's capitulated and we get none of the land back. You guys... Very quickly head down to Kabinda. So don't want to forget that we're at war with them. Alright, hopefully they don't land hundreds of troops over here. This is going to be our main front for a while. Malawi and this. Well, in a week we'll sort them out. We'll bring the guys back over. I can't believe the Russians actually got their troops around there that quickly. What port did they land in? It'd be like Libreville or this one. Alright. Civilian build up. 
Seriously, I need 70 dice. That's no, 140 dice for them. Fair enough. Get the extra civilian factories. And what are we doing? Research into... Not MPs. Maybe logistics. Let's worry about... We want to do tanks. We want to do uh, mechanized. Don't think we're using any of them. The planes, though. Uh, which one do we actually have? multi roll fighter. We have some attack aircraft. Okay, maritime patrol and all the rest. What do we need? Probably strat bombers. Or tactical bombers. Do they use manpower? Can't see it. Um, the range is going to be the thing. Operation range 1k. These guys, 9k. So we could actually use them. Let's go for Gen 4 bombers. Try and use someone that can do some bombing anywhere in the world. Alright, nearly ready on Malawi. Do, 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 do. Christmas morning. Alright, Merry Christmas Malawi. We declare you must die. And Djibouti, wasn't it? Alright, Djibouti, you can go ahead and join the NATO forces. Go immediately kill them. And down in Malawi. Go straight for his capital, Lwongwe. Russia is called in Malawi. And Djibouti, good. So they didn't even get the French on their side. Djibouti's gone. Freeze off the men. They'll go over to the border with the Russian tanks. And Malawi won't last too long. Gen 4 main battle tank. Let's make way for Gen 5. Takes a year as well. Three years ahead of time, but it's fine. Alright, Lwongwe. We need to check naval invasions really quick. Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco. Alright, there's a potential problem. Fallback line. Along there. We need whoever's closest to go and do it. One, two, three, four. Alright, get them on there. Then we're going to pull off probably some of these guys. They seem a bit overdone. Let's grab six. Two. Join in over there. Actually, get two of them back on this one. Okay. And you need to do it quickly. Alright, good thing we checked that. Now the Russian troops. Well, let's grab everybody who's on here and tell them to just go in there and retake it. Should be easy enough. We have the numbers there. Um, yeah, we'll leave those guys on the capital. Probably a good idea having somebody there. Alright, we've got them. So, just Malawi. And then retaking this. It's gone red. It's not good. Actually, up against the Russians there now. Sort of flopping between the green and the red. But, it'll be fine. Alright, Russia, how many troops do you have? 164, China, 213, still outproducing them. Still not even trying to push forward any further. They're trying to come through here, up into Kazakhstan. Well, if they can get the Kazakhstani capitulation, they'll be able to keep pushing forward. It's all this mountainous area that's uh, going to hold them back, though. Alright, let's just focus on ourselves for a bit. They are still moving down. So Tunisia, it's covered. Libya, it's covered. Malawi. Come on. Just get in there already. No, let's shorten this. There. There's no point doing that because I can't go across anyway. Alright, leave them to it. And up here, put the Russians back in the ocean. They've kept landing more troops. 
Congolese troops, actually. A big chunk of them. Victoria, Guinea, Gabon, Congo. This one will tell us. No, Congo have nothing. Alright. APCs. Go for Gen 4s. Alright. Win both of these. Then we'll get the encirclement bonus there. Um, did we switch up the... Oh, I don't think we did. Sub 3, didn't we get... Yeah, sub 4. Alright, got one side. As soon as we get Libreville back. Free up another 58 divisions. Uh, how are we looking here? Yeah, we need time. Need a year. A year should be good pretty much all of it, except main battle tanks. Alright, need more MBT production. That's just because we're not filled up. Good. Malawi's gone. Nice. Okay. Well, while we have guys down here, let's... Yep. Zimbabwe, Botswana are definites. Namibia's a no for now. So, just by conquering Zimbabwe. Just by conquering... Botswana. And then this lot. <clears throat> Half to Zimbabwe. Weird little thing. Alright, split them off. And it's uh, going to be a river crossing. But they don't have troops, so that should be doable. Turn them both on. That will be in early June this year. Alright, then what was South Africa's story? They're strong, aren't they? Yep. So I'm going to want to touch the rest of them. Ivory Coast we'll actually want to start fabricating on. Because this guy will be gone very soon. Who are these troops actually from? You're saying Congo. Don't believe that for a second. Alright. 27 divisions. It was over 30 there. Let's grab maybe these guys. Get them prepared. Shouldn't be needed there. Their organization and the strength's low enough. Alright, now Malibu is Equatorial Guinea, South. Tome in Principe. There's no way to get over there. It's not going to be able to finish that. Alright, they're gone. Ground assault. Ground assault, not ground assault. Now, do we want to do the assault wing or the infiltration wing? Because breakthrough, motorized mechanized, planning goes up, organization, army breakthrough, planning, planning speed, organization. Or breakthrough, tanks, supply consumption, night attack. Usually you do it for the night attack. Night attack might actually be better than the planning bonuses we get here. Breakthrough evens out. Maximum planning. Alright, do we want a lot of planning or do we want night attack? I think we want planning. Let's go to the assault. Alright, Ivory Coast. Botswana, Zimbabwe, everything else is looking fine. Let's go check on Libya, Libya, Algeria. Looks good. So, the low strength could be a problem. Conservative rally and reactionary rally. It's all just rally against your one true leader. Alright, China. He's very slowly pushing out into Russia. Sakayin. He's just completely forgotten about. And I'm sure China's done the bulk of this. He's only done 25%. Probably just because he hasn't got the uh, occupation scores. How has China done anything against them? Casualties. Weird. How are you suffering casualties against NATO? Hmm. Alright. Well, let's have a look over this end. 
a bit of Russia there. Kazakhstan must have pushed into actual China. Yeah, state owner is China. Foreign claim by East Turkestan. All right. Gen 4 APCs. That one's going to take too long. So we've got our uh, APCs ready. Didn't make a decision about these in the end. Let's uh, go research them anyway. So APCs are ready. Is that motorized? No. Infantry fighting vehicles. No. Light tanks. Man, we seriously waste all our time doing that. Thought we were using them. Light mechanized equipment. No, that's why I was thinking motorized. The um, mechanized infantry is separate to the other one. All right. Well, we've researched them for later anyway. All right. China will slowly manage to reduce Russia. I think it's going to be a problem of them being on service by requirement. Yeah, it's going to be a manpower thing. We'll probably have enough production. China are still on volunteer only, so yeah, they should be able to help produce Russia easily enough. And we should eventually get the Chinese through them. This war will end, and then it'll just be us and China versus Europe. That'll be obviously mostly China versus Europe. In the meantime, we'll finish off doing Africa. So I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.